Catfish aren't as easy for some folks to admire as today's more glamorous fish. But get past stereotypes, and catfish are amazing. They are the fish of the masses today, the glamour fish of tomorrow, as North America begins to understand them. Catfish, far from being sluggish and crude, are extremely sensitive to their surroundings. The total of their sensory systems is the most impressive in the North American world of freshwater fish. Compared to cats, fish such as bass and trout are limited and, well, a bit primitive. Every game fish is adapted in special ways to function in certain environments. Basically, catfish are adapted to rivers, and river water can be murky for weeks on end. For catfish to function in such surroundings, they need information from many senses. Logically, the sense of sight would not be important to fish adapted to a turbid environment. We do not think catfish have especially well-developed sight, but they have eyes and use them as a critical part in their feeding strategy whenever water's clear enough. In clear water, they probably are capable of seeing color. The catfish's sense of hearing is highly developed. Cats are sensitive to sounds in their environment, more so in fact than trout, bass, pike, or walleye. Wade into a catfish's pool and he likely knows you're there. He probably heard you when you were several pools away. He may still bite, but he's aware of you. Many a heavy-footed catfisherman has unknowingly spooked his prey before wetting a line. The sense of touch is highly developed in catfish too, important for a fish that often lives around snags. Because cats have no scales, their entire bodies are soft and sensitive. In addition, they have barbels, eight whiskers of varying length, the basis for the name catfish. Catfish investigate their surroundings with the help of their whiskers, though their entire bodies are sensitive. Additionally, catfish have more highly developed senses of taste and smell than other game fish. Their olfactory organs are amazingly more complex than those of other species. Taste receptors are concentrated on the barbels and around the mouth, but also cover the catfish's body. Imagine, a catfish can actually taste with his tail. Imagine, too, that this sense is so developed that they can actually taste food without even touching it. Add it up, and you have a fish more impressive by far in its acute awareness of its surroundings than glamorous species like bass and muskies. Again, a catfish is like a big swimming sensory organ, keenly sensitive to its environment. No wonder the catfish is such an amazingly successful predator and potentially the most formidable opponent swimming. And can you believe it? This is a fish scorned by some as sluggish and dumb. It seems some fish get no respect no matter how much they deserve it. However, when one looks behind the glossy magazine covers into the hearts of the mid-American angler, one finds that catfish do indeed command their fair degree of respect and popularity. Witness the statistics garnered in a 1985 survey by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, reporting that catfish, along with their cousins the bullheads, were the second most pursued fish group in the country, following only the far more highly publicized black bass. In some states, they are number one by comfortable margins. These anglers have come to realize that the catfish, far from being sluggish and dull, is actually among the most intelligent of the fish groups. One study by researcher Gordon Faraby rated the channel catfish number one in learning ability or memory, followed by bass, northerns, trout, and salmon, respectively. The catfish's yearly cycle can be divided into 10 calendar periods. Spring cold water, pre-spawn, spawn, post-spawn, post pre-summer, summer peak, summer, post-summer, fall cold water, and winter. Although these periods always occur in order, their length and time varies according to latitude and local weather. In a nutshell, the catfish angler's year progresses like this. 
Catfishing begins after rivers stabilize during spring and fish move into a long pre-spawn period. After spawning, cats settle into holding areas for summer. Fall weather cools water and generally moves catfish downriver to seek large deep holes in which to spend winter. Winter, which may include ice cover, reduces catfish activity, except during periods of extended warm weather, which may produce very good fishing. A glance at the geographical range of the three major North American catfish species shows them to be pervasive in the continent. Wherever you live, it's a good bet there's some good catton within a day's drive of your house. To the surprise of many uninitiated anglers, catfish are not strictly bottom feeders existing on carrion alone. Rather, they are omnivores, meaning they eat just about anything. They often feed on the bottom, as lake trout and pike do, but also attack prey at mid-depths and even feed on the surface. Commercial catfish farmers often feed floating pellets to catfish, which wouldn't make sense if cats fed only on the bottom. In terms of physical size, catfish are the third largest species in North America. The sturgeon and alligator gar are one and two respectively. The records for the three biggest catfish subspecies are as follows. The world record channel cat weighed in at 58 pounds and was caught by Mr. W.H. Whaley in Lake Moultrie, South Carolina in 1964. The world record blue cat was a whopping 97 pounder caught from the Missouri River in South Dakota by Mr. Edward B. Elliott in 1959. Finally, the blue ribbon flathead was a huge 91 pound four ounce beauty caught from Lake Louisville, Texas by Mike Rogers in 1982. Catfish are primarily a fish of rivers. Though raised successfully in ponds, over 95% of North American catfish angling occurs in rivers and reservoirs. This video deals with how to catch catfish in river situations wherever you live across the country. Rivers can be broken into at least eight categories referring to geologic age. Very young, young, adult, mature, middle age, old, very old, and tidal. Any river should be broken into sections, as one section can be different in category from another. Catfish exist in all but the youngest of the geologic river formations. For the purposes of this video, we will not distinguish between the various river types, as the techniques and locational patterns we will discuss apply to virtually all rivers, but we will draw a distinction between large rivers and streams in order to elaborate on the various presentation options available.